Well, yesterday we announced a revolution in workstations. The biggest change in the last 20 years. The holy grail of workstations has been to not just visualize and model, but to be able to simulate while you visualize and model. Coupling simulation and design into a cohesive environment has been something we've been striving for for a very long time. Yesterday we announced with our workstation OEMs the Maximus technology that integrates and unifies visualization and computation into one platform. Into one platform. We've essentially put a supercomputer inside the workstation. Now the question is what can you do with that? To help me show that to you, I'd like to introduce Will Braithwaite, he's behind the curtain. Now, now as a, before, as I was thinking about this demonstration, you're probably thinking that behind the curtain is just a supercomputer. No, it's not true. Behind the curtain is Will, he's sitting right there, he's got a little PC next to him, it's called a Maximus, just trust me on this. <laughs> <laughs> the man the behind the curtain. Behind Will, the Will, curtain. Will is um, an award-winning digital artist. He's going to show us, in the context of a digital designer, in the context of a digital designer who uses Maya, which is used for um, modeling and animation, and the industry standard for that, in the context of a digital designer, what does it mean when we're able to put supercomputing capabilities in their hands? Take it away, Will. Thank you, Jensen. Good morning. Uh, so I'm going to talk you through uh, setting up an example effect scene in Maya, which is Autodesk's premier digital content creation tool for the visual effects market. This is the latest version of Maya, ominously named Maya 2012. And I've taken inspiration from that, and I've decided to make a small disaster movie. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out a scene. So we'll put some uh, digital elevation model in here first. Uh, we'll add some buildings. All these things would be typically modeled inside this package as well, as well as any animation. And all of these, of course, are very artistic processes. We're going to add a, a UFO in here, make some kind of 50s disaster movie. And of course, no movie would be complete without the hero in his little Jeep. There we go. So here's our scene with some textures on it. Uh, and I'll turn off this grid. And now the director, Michael Bay, has just stepped in and said something like, I'm going to need a tremendous amount of fluid to pour down the top of that mountain and crash into this valley. And I've gone, oh dear. Um, unfortunately, simulation is not, not yet really an artistic process. It is a simulation process that we run on a server farm in the back room. And then I'll come in the next day and I'll have a look and I'll present it to Michael Bay and he'll say, no, 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 this is all wrong. So, Here's a simulation that was previously done, and I've loaded up a cache of a single frame of this animation, and Michael Bay's seen it, and inevitably he said, there's far too much fluid going on over here, and I need to do a close-up on this shot. This is where Piers Brosnan is going to be standing, and we can't have him drown. So <laughs> what I'm going to have to do is, is go away and, and re-simulate, say, I'm sorry, Michael, come back tomorrow. But what he doesn't know is that I've actually put uh, a Tesla and a Quadro card inside my Maximus-ready system from NVIDIA, and I'm just going to hit play. And I can watch the water just pour down as I simulate it live on the machine. Now we can see here the water just pouring down into the crevices of the hill uh, and down into this valley. And I can go, well, there's definitely far too much fluid happening here, so I'll just move this observatory, <laughs> move the observatory over to the side and uh, remove, uh, get rid of a lot of the water that's happening here. So, what happens next is the director is very excited by all this technology, and he's decided that he wants to sit down next to me and join in the artistic process, <laughs> which is fantastic. It may not seem it, but it's fantastic, because now I get to drink lattes with Michael Bay instead of just working in a dark, dingy room with everyone else. Uh, the holy grail of all of this is, of course, interactivity, and to a director, that holy grail is uh, motion capture, because that puts him in complete control. So if we give him the ability 
to actually move objects around. He can uh, drag things about on the motion capture stage in real time and actually collide with the water to create effects. We can also do interesting things such as play about with all the tools that Maya has to offer which are typically done offline. Like we can here, we can attract all the water into the tractor beam on this spaceship and we can steal Earth's water supply. Wow. Ooh, ah. All the time the water is being treated as a fluid, so it's trying to maintain incompressibility and so forth. Now, I've been doing visual effects for years, big blockbuster movies and things like this, and having this kind of turned around, having, being able to see these effects that I'm playing with, lets me experiment, it lets me be an artist again with simulation. And uh, finally, Pierce Brosnan and Tom Cruise, whoever you like, has saved the day, and uh, he's managed to disable the tractor beam, the water comes crashing back down again, uh, forming a picturesque and idyllic lake down at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, Will, that's, that's terrific. Thank you, very, uh, thank you very much. Beautiful lake indeed. All right, so, so uh, what, what Will is basically doing now is, is uh, visualizing, designing, and simulating at the same time, and there's hundreds of thousands of particles. And using SPH simulations, you're able to create the seeming um, effects of water. Going forward, however, we're going to do this at a level where reality and actuality are simply indiscernible. Um, the levels of, of smoke simulation, water simulation, and cloth simulation are, are just going to be completely marvelous. Live action will no longer be the best form. It will be n unnecessary and we'll be able to achieve things that uh, simply won't be possible in real life. And we'll, let's, take a look, let's take a look at what that would mean if we were able to achieve one exaflops in 20 megawatts. Kids will never have to play with fire again. And I, I know how many of you were, were uh, uh, probably like me, who, who, who uh, just, well, let's face it, playing with fire is just a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's beautiful, it's exciting, and now you can do it virtually. Mm -hmm.